Okay, uh, keeping it a little bit brief. <clears throat> I hope I'm coming in okay. Um, yeah, we are going to call this uh, personal uh, log user Lucas. Um, so we just barely escaped an exploding astrogen research station after one of our um, contacts has managed to <clears throat> surprise us by um, rigging and exploding the whole station up with us inside. We managed to uh, successfully erase all um, footage and uh, all the proof that we were ever there and even extract some of the research, not all. Um, uh, with the help of Anna, we managed to uh, download some of the data. Um, we managed to escape and get re reunited with our main contractor, with May, Caption May. And for now, we are trying to pretty much leave this arcology and we are on our way uh, on Caption May's ship towards uh, greener pastures. And I believe that brings up, us up to date. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I was thinking there was something else, but okay, all right. But that's those the basic things, yeah. Yeah. Um, so definitely heading to greener pastures, that's for sure. Or at least bluer. Um, so yeah, you're 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 spending all this time like kind of on the ship. Um, it takes it's a it's two jumps, so it takes you multiple weeks, and you're just kind of sitting on the ship and talking to each other and uh, you know learning a little bit about the system. So the planet itself is a water world. And um, <clears throat> it's, um, I think if you, if you know who Mei Sato is and you know who the Sato family is, um, I think that you all did kind of, or somebody did, somebody who yeah. knew, knew about um, like Saibatsu and um, kind of what they are, um, then you would know that it was colonized by the Chinese a long time ago. And it was actually a prison colony and um, there was multiple little prisons that they had on these little tiny islands. It's like 95% water, the surface is covered with water. And um, it was taken by the, um, by the, the union, the, uh, the uh, Galactic uh, Federation for the sort of the, the side that you guys are on which is space nato and um uh and it was sort of colonized by like japanese and korean um people so it's sort of like space hawaii space macau um there are tons of casinos it was like it was and still is sort of like a tourist destination um but you come out of jump, you come out of warp, and um, all of a sudden, you know, you get all these kind of like notifications on your data pads, like um, how how uh, data works with the, um, there's no type beam kind of transmission, like there's no way that people can send a transmission from a system to a system. So data has to travel with ships. So as soon as you come through, you get the mail, right? And um, and then you hear, uh, you hear a like in the the uh, cockpit or whatever, like you hear May, like fuck, like fuck, 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 fuck. Um, she's like, Jala, you crazy bitch. <laughs> Um, and she is just having, like, like having a freak out and like cussing 
Jawa out over something. Um, are you all going to investigate? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Lucas is going in the maze direction. Yeah. I'm just going to stay working underneath because that's not my problem. <laughs> yeah. So, Lucas, as you, you um, come into the, the, the cockpit and um, uh, May is like, it's like, do you, do you know what, do you know what this means? Do you know, do you know what this means? And, and it's again, it's like the same thing where Shala. Oh, what? Oh, is Shala, is Shala there? Yeah, yeah, Jala is oh, on the bridge. She's talking to Jala. Okay, all right. Yeah, she's all talking right. to Jala, and she's and 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 then she's like, she's like, do you know what this means? Like, they're they can they can kill me, and they can get away with it. And then she's like, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, little rich girl. I'm so sorry, little freedom fighter. What do they call you, Ritoro Taiga? Is that is that it? Is that the the name? And um, like, I guess. You could do an education role, like if you want to know what that means. But um, basically, sure. like she's like making fun of her, um, and uh, so hey, hey, anything uh, besides anything education, anything else? Um, no, I think this would be because it's Just like it's education. actually it's a, it's a Japanese it's a term. Okay. Um, but. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess Lucas, you can you can roll too if you want if you're on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, rolling in a couple of seconds. Um, but she's like she's like making fun of her, you know, and like doing the doing the same thing where she's like she's like yeah, you know, you come to me, you come to the OPA, you talk to me. And you make friends with me, like I, you know, I didn't like I didn't tell you to do anything or like, um, and uh, no, so it's like, oh no, wait, that's a success actually. Like both of you had a success. Sorry, yeah. Um, it just means little tiger. Okay. Like, like it's 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 um, yeah, and it's like I don't, apparently like her nickname or something like that. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, and and May is just is still like kind of freaking out, and she's like, "Oh my god, my dad, my dad is gonna fucking kill me. My dad is gonna fucking like he's gonna be the one that cashes in my chips. He's gonna be the one that that, that gets this contract, and he's gonna take the money for the contract. He's gonna kill me himself." And um, and like so, you know, they're like going back and forth. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll shoot. A, I'll shoot a look at at y'all. Like it's like cool it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I ask. Excuse me, man. What's uh, what? What's happening? Um, and May is like they the fucking um. She's she's like estrogen, fucking estrogen. A corporation has declared a war of assassins on me on my family for the deaths of the scientists at the high wind facility. They're saying that I did it, that it was somebody on my crew, that there are witnesses from Zaibatsu from the other clans that saw somebody from my crew blow up the facility. Luckily, whatever you guys did, you scrubbed the security footage. There's no actual video of this happening but this is there's basically if i if i go outside i can stay inside my home if i go outside they're supposed to shoot me in the face and it's it's a it's an old thing it goes back for it goes back for a long long time like back it's a it's a thing like it's a mafia thing, like on my planet. Okay. And basically I need to fucking lay low until this blows over. Um, and then Ajala is just like, has this huge, like toothy grin. She's just like, she's it's just loving every minute 
of this and like has her arms kind of crossed, you know, and she's like, she's like, you know, um, like says something, says something to you, like Anna, like, like built a load of, yeah, you know, like does a, does a, um, yeah, like an OPA thing, you know, yeah, oh, yeah, very upper thing. I, I, yeah, I agree, I agree, but the, uh, but the question is, is like the, um, they say there were witnesses from another Zaibatsu. There wasn't anybody there that I know of. But was was there? Was there another group there? She's like, she's like, well, the other, some of the heads of the other clans, like they were there to see a, a weapons demonstration. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we saw a demonstration of something, but it's, it's just like, my dad's going to kill me. Because why would the other clans? Kill, they why can would the other clans? Members. Yeah. Why would the other clans say that you had a had a part in it? Just, I mean, their ships were there just as easy as your ships were there. You think they were just doing it to deflect uh, uh, um, any possible blame from them? I don't or know. Do they have a beef, or, do, or do they have a beef with you or with your family? It's it's just like. It's like layers of an onion, and it sucks. The whole thing sucks and stinks. Can your father do, or you or somebody do a thing back on the, um, uh, back saying basically the same, making the same accusation back on them? I mean, there's just just I don't there's know. There's no there's no proof that you did it. Uh, so it's just as much proof to think they did it as you did it, since there is no proof. She's like, we we just we gotta talk to my dad. Like yeah. he's gonna he's gonna kill me though. Like I'm so dead. Um and uh so you know you come into like the system because you have to come in from the gravity well, you know, um like the out the kind of like the outside of the system, like the the outermost um asteroid ring or whatever where the jump gate is and um it takes a little while to get you know cruise into the atmosphere and all that and this place is beautiful it's like just oceans kind of as far as you can see um how, how high is the gravity compared to the uh the, uh the place that we were at i know that was rather high gravity for a uh uh, for an asteroid because of the what it was made out of yeah well it, so it was actually a moon but um moon. The, yeah, okay. uh, the it feels it feels good like the oh, so the, not that much heavier okay no it's not it's not heavy it's like it almost feels a little lighter <laughs> yeah oh okay all right yeah good deal um but you you know you come into the atmosphere and it's like the 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 sun is a um is a red dwarf so it's a little bit like redder um the like it's a little bit lower like kind of like perpetual twilight almost um but it feels like it feels like kind of perfect uh considering where you have all been um and as you come into the spaceport everybody is in a hurry to get their shit, get their bags, and go separate directions, like getting off the ship. Um, like, uh, let's see, if anybody wants to um, just do like a, um, what would it be, a recon or... Um, just kind of like catch the vibe of um, like what's happening. Um, I'm not sure what they're, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, like, I'll do a recon. Uh, we need to figure out a way to get her off the ship and to her father safely. Yeah. Um, so like as you land, right, Lucas got a success um you see that it's almost like you know people are like chomping at the bit like more than just getting off of like a long 
flight or whatever, mm -hmm. like they look a little nervous. Um, and then they're kind of like, like they're going to start sprinting as soon as they get out the door. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, and like also the kind of like the more like OPA kind of types, like the guys, the belter guys who have all the tattoos and stuff, they're like sweating. Um, and, uh, as the, you know, the, the landing gear comes down, the doors come open, the humidity hits you like a wall and it is pretty warm, but it feels really good at the same time. Um, and, uh, and then you see these guys just like, like give you a few of them give you like Anna specifically give you like a, you know, kind of like do like a belter. Mm -hmm. Kind of sign language yeah. thing like peace out you know you, you're one of us you know or whatever um and then they kind of break like they kind of go like separate directions in an or um uh like may even kind of nods at jala you know and jala mm -hmm. but they but like everybody just goes like sort of separate directions you, as soon as you get off the ship mm -hmm. and then you see um what looks to be like May's father, like standing on the tarmac um, with his arms crossed with like a security detail. And he's kind of looking like straight at May, just shooting daggers out of his eyes, you know, like icy daggers. And she's like, daddy. <laughs> um, and, and he's like, what the hell happened? You were supposed to try to buy drones. You were supposed to buy weapons. The clans are saying that you blew up the facility. Somebody, one, I should be arresting all of these assholes getting off your ship. Um, they can come for any one of us. I mean, we can come for them. We can, we can kill them too, but I don't want a war. Oh. Um, Tessa just aging. looks confused because obviously um, Tessa wasn't there. <laughs> just raising an eyebrow. Okay. Like, kill uh, us? What? Yeah. Do I get and, the sense that just... he'll do I get the sense that he'll be offended if hello if somebody my station talks to him or not? Um, he looks um he looks pissed. Like he just he just looks like kind of pissed off and like what are you you know what have you done? Like what have you gotten us into? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance, uh, sir. I I was um, they took they rescued us from the uh, from the facility when we were floating out there. Uh, but I can tell you, I was there. She did not blow up. She did not blow up that uh, facility. Uh, she saw something that she didn't didn't like, but but that was it. Yeah, and I can talk to that. I mean. Yeah, how, I, how we, I was working at that time. Saw her go yeah. into a big room with some business boys. Yeah. I mean, what's to say that these other people, the other clans that were on the station, that one of them couldn't have blown up the thing. I mean. Yeah, and he kind of he's kind of looking at you all and like looking at the people like sp splitting up in different directions. And he's like, Are this your new crew? Is this the um with the, these people were with you? They were on the station. Uh, right, we we didn't start out with her, but she rescued us, and when we showed what skills we had, she took us on as 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 uh, crew. Did you see anything? Did you see anybody? Any anybody plant any explosives or? I mean, I saw a really huge explosion when we were leaving to get off our duties. If that's what you mean, don't know who planted them. Yeah, no, it's. Um, I thought I saw something on the outside of, uh, but we the siren the the um, warning when uh, there was a little small explosion and then a, we got a warning thing, so everybody was hurrying to get off the station. Uh, we didn't get into one of the um, ships, so we got in one of the pods, and then we were just kind of floating there. I thought I saw something on the side of the uh, on the side of the station. Um, um, uh, and um, then 
May ship ca came over and picked us up, but it was on the opposite side from May ship. Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Well, we need to we need to get out of here. We're exposed right now." Okay. And and then you the like when he says that, you kind of see his like security detail, like these heavies like around him. They kind of like look around, like, and then you see like the um, they are like tatted up. You know, these guys look like like yakuza, and they're big, like uh, big like sumo wrestlers. You know not not like really tall but um the uh they're they're kind of like reaching for their waistband or whatever with these like suits on and it's like 99 degrees you know 100 percent humidity um so as you come into the spaceport right it's like it is like it, like kind of like space Hawaii or space Macau or something like you see all these people gambling, like um, they've all got their like stupid Hawaiian shirts on. Um, and, uh, and they're talking about how beautiful it is and just like nobody's wearing much clothes except for like these security guys who have their vests on, like they're even kind of complaining about it. They're like, if I knew that I was going to be inside the airport all day, I wouldn't have worn a vest today. You know, like there's like, there's, it's a secure facility for a reason. Like I don't need a fucking vest today. Um, but like the, the spaceport, it looks like it's like a man-made kind of island like the um the you know where the ships land like look like they're all sort of like man-made and then um there's kind of like a highway that like stretches over to another island that's close by um and they're kind of trying to like herd you through like get all of your you know shit off of the ship and stuff and yeah. if i get a chance i'm going to kind of uh, go a little bit towards the rear to where jala is uh and say we're not in space anymore we're on a planet it's like we're not that we're not we don't have the advantage here so let's show a little bit of subtlety until we get off until we get off this planet um it's you rolled super high with your recon mm -hmm. so i'm gonna say that you can find her mm -hmm. but like you see her and then she is like you surprised her like you kind of mm -hmm. snuck up on her because she's trying to get like almost trying to hide like yeah. um <laughs> like like oh fuck you know like i need to yeah. put a bell on you like don't sneak <laughs> up on me like that you're gonna kill me and give me a heart attack um yeah, yeah well, you could get yeah something worse could happen if like i said and we we ain't on our home court anymore we need to play a little subtle we can be out there and boisterous and everything and tell them where to where to when we're on our turf and and she's like she like kind of looks like she's like is her is her daddy is her daddy is he gone yet is he out there He's towards the front. I gotta go out the back. <laughs> um, and then she tries to sort of like sneak off, you know, mm -hmm. um, like grabbing her bags and stuff. <laughs> and and she, it, again, like you know, sees that that huge like toothy grin and like 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 you like you're you're cool. You're one of us. Um, mm -hmm. Um, and oak so how do we which is the only reason I have to put some with her. <laughs> yeah um you you did you did say that you kind of spent the time to like just decode the um the transmissions that were coming off the facility right so you have like some of that lab data and then you have the um like the video of the the monkeys like attacking each other and stuff right and uh i think you could even have you 
you could even have like proof that it was Jawa that did it, you know, if you really wanted it. Um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to, I, I think I remember you saying that you were just spending the time, like you had a couple of weeks to kill. I, I'm not sure playing finger at Jala is great because I mean, there are people that could say that she was on the, on the ship that um, left. Although of course, like us, she was not the main crew member. So yeah, crew member. you don't want to, she could have yeah, just been a rescuer, but yeah, I, I don't think we, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think we just, just, just the other stuff is just going to be sufficient. I think. Yeah. Um, but does anybody want to do anything in the in spaceport? Do you want to get a, a, a souvenir, a pina colada, or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what's what, what's around? Well, I mean, and they're probably going to heard heard um, uh, what's your name about, but um, I'm... pina colada sounds nice. Yeah, Tesla go have yeah. one of those. Uh, gonna buy some uh, trinkets to fall more in line with the monk uh, persona. Uh, some stuff that Lucas doesn't really believe in, but he's going to buy them <laughs> nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's like, it's like sort of, I don't know, like Japanese themed, you know? So you mm -hmm. can buy some kind of like Buddhist um, or like a, uh, a something that looks like a kimono. You know, or something mm -hmm. like if you wanted to, um, and you can definitely get a pina colada. They're super expensive and mm -hmm. not that great. A little watered down, but yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. You know, just get something. To... Well, I'll ask. I'll ask uh, May. Is like, um, do you want us with you, or do you want us out scouting around, or yeah? And then she's help just you like, out the most. She's like, she's like, keep the um. Uh, she like kind of waves. And she's like, keep the keep the data. Like, um, I I need that, you know, mm -hmm. um, and like we have to show that to my dad. With that's that's evidence, you know, that's proof. Um, I need yeah. to talk to you. Like, I need to, uh, we and like stay, like, if you if you all say like we're gonna go get a beer, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. Then she'll be like, "I'm gonna go with my dad." Um, okay. uh, here's, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and then she's like, "She's like, um, here's the casino. Like, this is um, this is our casino." And then she tells, "It's like the um, the something like the um, what what is this? What is this casino called? It's like the um." the grand um Ruan or something yeah it's like the the uh are you like grand you want you want <clears throat> is like there a particular thing. phrase or code that we can give the people to uh I'll let you know that to let them know that uh you're expecting us or or you're allowed to or we're allowed to see you that sort of thing like that she's like oh just just um come to the casino I'll comp you a room okay. I'll get you rooms Okay. Um, All right. <clears throat> I, I think it'd probably be a good idea to scout around the um, um, the port see, uh, a little bit, see what the arrangements are on that, um, just for just for a few minutes, um, and then we'll head on over. Yeah, and then her dad is like, it's like waving. She's like, "May, okay. yeah, go ahead, get go in ahead. the car," you know. Yeah, okay. um, and uh, and so she like, you know, they they leave the. Um, the the zunsu they leave it there mm -hmm. um like on the tarmac you know and people are, start coming out and kind of like servicing the like checking the <laughs> checking the coolant and all that you know um but if you all want to go to just like an like a spaceport bar you can do that mm -hmm. Says just some drink while well, just on the phone with someone and it's like yeah i can't believe it it blew up Crazy, right? So uh, I'm still invited to your um, wedding, right, Dave? <laughs> I mean, I did save a life. <laughs> She's just talking to the guy, you know, that I mm -hmm. didn't didn't let go in the space. I'm still invited to your wedding, right? Right? He's like, he's like, yeah, I I owe you. Yeah. 
You can come. <laughs> great. And I expect a um, great red man with a very big cake uh, that will also be pina colada flavor as she sleeps her pina colada. <laughs> Is this going to be like one of your one of your allies like call in a favor later? Like Dave, I need to, I need to call in that favor. I already have three. I already have three allies. This is just someone. This is a random person. Now I have a number of. Yeah. Dave, you won't believe it. I just lost my other leg. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, but okay. So, do you all want to go to like a spaceport bar and unwind a little bit, or I mean, you've been mm -hmm. on a ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would say it's probably a good idea. Also, we can probably listen in and see news feeds, stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so maybe not quite the not, not maybe not the real touristy thing. Go to the one that's a little less touristy. Yeah. Um, but as you're kind of like sitting at the bar, you know, like having your watered down pina coladas and expensive beer. The there is some stuff that kind of pops up where they're talking about um like uh incursions by there's a there's apparently there is like a sort of like a cold war that is happening on this planet. Um and then they're talking about um USS like troops and stuff and having like their airspace sort of tested and how they shot down um like they shot down like a group of um, fighters that like tested their airspace and stuff. Um, and they mention, they specifically like mention a group called um, Red Swarm. And I think that just because you're all like Navy, I think that you would have heard of that. And it's like a, um, it's a, um, it's like a sweet, it's literally like a swarm. Like they, they have like tons and tons of smaller ships mm -hmm. that are like Corvettes and like destroyers, destroyers, nothing really big, but there's just so many of them. Um, and then they just kind of like pour into a system and, uh, and do massive damage, um, like take over whole systems. This like okay. elite. Uh, swarms of ships, kind of, kind of like, kind of like the Kazinti historically battles. Um. Well, I mean, these are humans, you know, but they're. Yeah. It's but like. I mean, uh, but but I mean, that's that's the technique. Was as this, you get you get a carrier and you launch all the little things and you know, mm -hmm. you have groups. Yeah, like they took fire they, they, and then break off to where they're hard to hit. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like they show some footage of like a gate, like opening up. And then just this fleet of like small ships like pouring through, like zip, 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 you know, coming through the mm -hmm. the gate. And like the gate is only like, I don't know, like a mile across. But then like all of these ships just kind of pour through all of a sudden, like a um, um like you know, a whole fleet just sort of appearing all at once, and they're all like little corvettes and frigates and stuff, like and um and then like the um uh, there's uh show some footage of like drones like shooting down some of this fleet and stuff and then the gate like closes you know <clears throat> and these who do these belong to what what, group, um, what faction with the uh, Union of so of Socialist Systems. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, and and then there's like mentions of how, um, like there's there's like espionage, like um, different kinds of like attacks and stuff where. There's there seems to be like a common theme as far as espionage stuff goes, where mm -hmm. they're after things like um, uh, medical research, um, like they, they they talk about how 
for some reason on uh it looks like there's like a lot of like pharmaceuticals and stuff like produced here mm -hmm. and then they talk about how there's uh uh they had their like data like hacked or whatever by um by like this this hacking group or something and the, the like USS like or USS just keeps coming up again and again like on the news reports and then it goes over to um what do you call it um like a, a speedboat kind of like racing <laughs> Yeah, and to think that I have invested into their stocks, I'm going to say, <laughs> as I'm sipping from a pina colada. Yeah. But um, it does seem like it's kind of, it has like a very touristy vibe. Mm -hmm. Like there's a, like a, the, um, a lot of the people here seem like they're enjoying themselves regardless of this like little war that's kind of happening in the background hmm. and just what's the general feel like so you said that's kind of the general feel of the station pretty much yeah there's there is casinos like or i mean like there's like um not casinos um just like little one arm bandit kind of things just mm -hmm. all over the place. Um, and then like Tiki vibe, like Tiki hut kind of. Is, is there anything, probably not in, in, in there, is there anything that seems unique to this planet? No Tiki's and stuff like that, or Buddhist stuff like that. Just something like a native rock, a native shell, um, mm -hmm. something. Yeah, you um, you might have to investigate a little bit more, but um, I think you would know that um, every every planet where there's a jump gate, there is some kind of like alien intelligent life there. Um, like typically, the like the world there's like stuff living there before. Um, so maybe you do see some some kind of like really interesting looking shells like you see uh, what looks to be like uh, sort of like a conch you know or something like that mm -hmm. but it's like massive it's like uh, it's like the size of um, like a um, like a small couch or something mm -hmm. and they, they like have it like hanging like over the bar I'll um at some place, I'm sure I'm, I can probably find a map of um, of the world, right? I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, you can just pull it up on your like data pad. Yeah, but I mean, stuff. I find the stuff that's the man-made stuff. Anybody living on is there stuff on the natural islands and stuff like that, or people living on those? Yeah. Um, once again, it's like a slightly like um low population world mm -hmm. um are you looking up are you trying to find any, any like information about the planet and stuff yeah mm -hmm. um so there is something that it's kind of interesting that pops up that like when you're reading about like the history and stuff mm -hmm. just because of your experience on uh hemsa you see that this is kind of um a cyanophilic planet um that apparently like you know if you're looking for stuff about zaibatsu and stuff like that um they um they have this thing where when the jump gate went to, like the key, the gate to earth went down there was a lot of like planets that kind of starved or they had these little wars that broke out and stuff and specifically here, they had a thing that it's like, they call it like juche or um, it means like self-reliance. Mm -hmm. And then um, like the people kind of banded together and made sure that they didn't starve and tried to 
do their best to um, not rely on stuff like coming from the outside, you know? And then that's like, that's a big thing with like Zaibatsu is that they're like self-independence and self-reliance. Um, but then there's like, they mention um, that like they, they, it's kind of like an inconsequential planet to the, um, like the union, you know, or whatever, mm -hmm. like it's that they aren't getting like enough support, like fighting off of fighting off these attacks and stuff from the union because it like the planet doesn't really matter that much to them. Um, and, uh, and, but again, it's like, they're very like self-reliant mm -hmm. and too proud to even like ask for help. Mm -hmm. Um, but okay, so one thing though, uh, yeah, I think that that's one thing that stand, stands out. Or you can, I mean, if you want to look, just spend some time looking like there's, I could give you some more, but. Well, I'm just kind of there, curious about this stuff away from the touristy type stuff. Is there any, I mean, is there other stuff going on on this planet besides just touristy stuff? Yeah, um, like, what are you specifically looking? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get a feel for what the planet is really like, as opposed to the touristy stuff. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, um, maybe that is the what's way important than the other stuff is incidental. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, I think like mm -hmm. going into some of the history of the stuff, um, there is like there is some stuff that you find like it's sort of a uh, like a mafiocracy. <laughs> um, there is these like different groups that sort of took over, um, like after the fall, like um, the dock workers and the, um, like th they freed this prison population, you know, um, a lot of them were like um, uh political prisoners or whatever and uh they freed this prison population and then there's this huge like criminal element and then the mafia kind of like seizes control and they run things um mm -hmm. and it's like people are kind of more they, people are kind of more scared of um like pissing off the mafia than the state you know mm -hmm. um Like um, there's some stuff that comes up about funding for like the military and stuff and how like they think that something went like that they're not as strong as they should be because people have just been pocketing these funds that are supposed to be going into defense, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Well, I'll end up if I can find something like if there's something like some artwork or something like that that's not too terribly expensive by a local artist that looks different from the same stock you see everywhere i might pick pick that up if it's really it has to be relatively small too so yeah yeah it's very i mean it's i think it'd be tough to find something that's good quality that isn't like crazy expensive but yeah. like if you want to get something small um yeah, just, just like something really small, small. <laughs> A, a little different you know that's a, that's a little different you know maybe if they got like little they have like the little kiosks set up in there Mm -hmm. yeah so you yeah, can get a lot of uh, time most of those are going to be corporate type things but every once in a while somebody will set up their own little you know kiosk selling their own stuff so find something like that yeah there's like a a lady who's selling um little woodblock prints oh, okay. like um yeah like uh ukiyo-e kind of like prints you know mm -hmm. um, but they look nice they're like good quality okay if there's any one, if there's one that speaks to me, I'll, if it's not too out of range, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but anything else that you all want to do in the spaceport before heading into town, or mm, and we don't see like um, don't really think so. Mostly just 
keeping an eyes uh, eyes and ears out for any of the aftermath of our endeavors. Oh, are you? Are you, do you want to like look up and stuff that's happening on Hemset? Because you can you can get like news and stuff. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Um. So there is some. There's the usual like kind of like doom and gloom where they're talking about um, like terrorist attacks and stuff. There is um, more of these like explosions um, stuff that's happening in the mines, like that um, they're complaining about how they think that like um, the arcologies are like lying to them to like keep stuff quiet about um, like uh, possible warfare or something going on in the tunnel, like in the K, uh, the mines and stuff. And they're talking about how um, there's like hyver on hyver violence, like the different clans, or sorry, not the different clans, like the different um, tribes. Yeah, like the different yeah. tribes, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and and then you could even. Um, there is one interesting thing if you look for there's a there's a post about how um on like the latest episode of Hunter's Killers, they uh plopped this group down, this group of hivers that were involved in a labor like dispute that turned violent. Um and they like plop them down in this neighborhood, like in this slum. And then they're supposed to go to war with this gang and like the drones are kind of like flying around, like capturing the footage. And then like a wall comes down, like they, the, just a whole wall just kind of like gets like blasted out behind them. And then you see a bunch of hivers, like their tribe come in and like grab the rest of these like hivers and like pull them into the, the tunnels like the mines you know and they mm -hmm. escape like escape the um and it's like you know hyver hyver warfare like hyver on hyver violence yeah. um but there i guess if there if you do look for specifically for the um for the the high wind facility like mm -hmm. the the explosion they're calling it a terrorist attack. They took, they're calling yeah. it the an opa attack mm -hmm. Well, if Jala will stay hidden here, we could probably make a good case of like, well, see, this was just. <laughs> oh, Jala is nowhere to going. Yeah, she's gone. Going. Like, yeah, she's she's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I I was right in I was right in the procedure there. That's <laughs> gets one potential source of. <laughs> yeah, no, she was surprised that, that I think you rolled like an eleven recon or something. I was going to be like. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't find her. <laughs> so she's gone, gone now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, you could assume, like, I mean, nothing important was lost, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and and you didn't even get a goodbye. Like, I think Anna is probably the only one that got a goodbye. Is like she knows that nobody else likes her, or or maybe she's, you know, has a soft spot for Anna, like, or maybe yeah. because Anna got a recon eleven, and that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The um, yeah, that's um, um, okay. So we can make all the cases we want to then for it being an OPA, and not a. Not have to worry about her there, so yeah. But all I mean, right. you did just... grab all the security footage and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Can, exactly. Can, we, can we go to the casino? That's my question. Like, can we actually go and uh, peruse the casino premises, or uh, is that too much? Oh, you're supposed to like May. May told you yeah. she's like yes, yeah, like, she's, com here. she's copying this room there, so. Yeah, she's like, I'll I'll get you a room. Um, 
like just meet me, you know, hang on to everything and we're going to show my dad and like, I'm going to go with him now. Cause yeah. he thinks we're like, yeah. Um, but if you, if you're ready, like you can, yeah, you can go to the casino. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> so yeah, I say that you get a, you get a nice taxi from the, um, Oh, and there's, this is actually like, um, there's a lot of, uh, grab vehicles. Mm -hmm. So you do see like at the, um, like at the spaceport and stuff, you do see a ton of grab vehicles. Um, there is like boats and stuff, you know, as you're kind of like cruising over this, this highway mm -hmm. and they, there's still like ground vehicles and stuff, but there's just like the grab vehicles everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, cruise across the causeway and then roll into, it's like, as soon as you get across the, the bridge and sort of roll into town, it's like the biggest casino is right there, you know? Um, and, uh, and then like, as you keep going, it's like, they get a little bit smaller and less glitzy, but it's not too far until you get to the uh like grand grand yuan palace um where uh where like her her family like the sato family that their their casino um but uh yeah it's like it's nice um the casino is like they like you come inside and there are like lounge singers um and they're singing like old um like old music, like cover bands, you know, it's like, like they'll have like a, like one pit here, one pit here. And, um, and they're kind of drowning each other out cause they're singing like different songs and stuff. Um, but they're, you know, they look like, um, they're dressed up like, like, like you'd see somebody who's dressed up like Celine Dion and somebody who's dressed up like Cher, you know, and like singing their songs or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to insert a little bit of uh, reality into the game and uh, I'm going to, uh, Lucas is going to stay and listen because I am a sucker for old music. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, uh, pay attention, oh, like, well. take a seat, <laughs> listen. You, you mean old music for your character as opposed to you, right? I mean, you don't think they share and Celine Dion is old music? No, 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 no. Just... But what year is this? Uh, that's a good question. I forgot. Uh, we are quite into the future. Like, they are probably yeah. long gone. <laughs> oh, suddenly, yeah. suddenly, Celine Dion comes into the um, Zoom call. It was all planned. Yeah, it's her clone. Like, it's... it's, it's um... It's, oh, it's a wait, and, they, and they reanimated them through AI, like they have some holograms singing and mm -hmm. somehow, oh, okay, that, that's a little bit disturbing. I'm not going to stay. Uh, Lucas is going to move away then. It's, it's just <laughs> yeah. normal. I thought it's, cover. I thought it's cover bands or something. Yeah. Look, look guys, it's, it's Hatsune Miku. There she is. Yeah. Um, so it's like, it's like roughly 500 years into the future. Man, my so my, share, my yeah, grand share. grand grandmother loved her. <laughs> yeah, she's not around. It's a, it's amazing what music has survived and hasn't survived. Um, I sorry, I meant I meant like the modern equivalent, you know, like where yeah, I know, yes, yeah, yeah. But um, they're like lounge singers, you know, but they're kind of drowning each other out. Like it's hard to tell if who's and and then they're like kind of singing like louder than each other and like pointing, you know, like pointing at the crowd and stuff, like trying to drown each other out. Um, oh God, my ears, they're bleeding. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's not very, I mean, some of them are okay. Some of them not so much. Um, but it's like, it, it does look very, it's like very glitzy. It's kind of like, um, I, I don't know, like almost generic Asian themed. Um, like they have like dragons and then they have uh, like food dogs and then they have like Shinto and it's like what you know like what's that? is that Japanese or is that Korean or is that Chinese like what is that you know um, 
So what the heck is that thing? Why is there a thing called a squonk here? That's not even Japanese. That's not even Chinese. What what is that thing? Yeah, it's like it's like generic Asian kind of looking. And then of course, like they have like the obligatory kind of buffet with like um generic Asian food. <laughs> and then there's like a Hooters next door. <laughs> Space Hooters. Well, hey, it's not kibble. It's not kibble, so it's yeah. It's already it's great. Ought to take him, ought to take advantage of while we're here. Yeah, you can get some chicken wings. Just get actual food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Instead of like the rehydrated paste or whatever that you had on the ship, um, get real coffee and stuff like that. Well, this Ooh, is a lot yeah. better than the styrofoam I eat. Yeah. Well, okay. So actually. There is all kinds of fruit and stuff like fresh fruit that looks pretty great. Ooh, okay. And seafood, Good. lots and lots of seafood. Well, I'll skip the seafood, but uh, massive food, shrimp that are like this big, like yeah. the size of a Datsun. Um, <clears throat> huge I'm not crab anything legs that there. looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, if you um, if you like if you or or if you're just exploring the casino, you can totally just explore the casino. Um, so I'm trying to think of like what there's a uh, this the it is sort of like um, ocean themed, you know, like they have mm -hmm. an aquarium inside mm -hmm. the casino as well. Oh, I will look at that suit and see what. Uh, I, don't think, I, would ever, I don't think I've ever actually seen fish other than you know on plates. So, mm -hmm. um, I'll was, look at that for a little while. I was gonna look at for out, what? Yeah, look out for a um, map of the place, basically to see the floors and everything. Yeah, yeah. But... Mm -hmm. There should be one yeah. by the elevators and by the. Uh, Disc as we come in and stuff like that. Yeah, there's like there there is like aquariums kind of like mm. all over the place, and then there's like um you even see like the the lady who's dressed up like the mermaid who you know takes a little breath like dives in and then swims around a little bit, it's like smiles at you and waves. And she swims by and then like pops back up again, and mm -hmm. um and then they have like all there's all kinds of fish and stuff in here that looks like earth you know or like you rec you would recognize it as not native to like native of earth and then there's other stuff that looks like uh like like jellyfish and stuff like that that's sort of like flashing colors that you don't know like you're like is that from is that from here or is that from earth um actually okay um let me see lucas can i specifically get like a a recon from you you're muted uh just a moment Uh, um, or actually you could do your your psionic thing mm -hmm. too, like, mm -hmm. like just uh, you see like this kind of like brightly colored jellyfish that's like flashing colors it almost looks like it's trying to get your attention yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right away. Small difficulties, but no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Psionic. This can only end good. Oh, yeah. Um. So, like, 
you see this thing. It's like this really brightly colored um, jellyfish kind of thing. Um, and it's like flashing colors, you know, like like blue and green and purple. Like, mm -hmm. uh, Bioluminescent, you know. Yeah, like almost like, but like sort of swimming like up closer to the glass and then you like lean in, like look, look at it a little bit closely. And then, um, you know, it's kind of like, almost like, uh, I don't know, like it's displaying its colors or whatever. And then you get a flash of something. Um, you get like sort of like a vision. Um, and it's like a memory. It's like a memory, but it's somebody else's memory. Um, and then there is, um, there are human beings. There are like these kind of jellyfish creatures. Um, there is like all kinds of like weird, there's ivers, like some, like some species like that you recognize. Um, mm -hmm. And then they're all kind of like in a room together or they're, they're on a bridge like of a spaceship. Um, mm -hmm. And then the spaceship actually looks like badly damaged and it's like they just put out like some fires or something and um they're talking about their like specific like you specifically get the intention like the um impression that one of these like jellyfish kind of creatures and it doesn't look like this one it doesn't look like this little one but it looks like it's like gigantic it's like a big jellyfish um and it's like it's translating for everybody. Like it's speaking through, you know, like like the human the human being will say something, and then the hiver says something, and it's like translating for each one of them. And it's like t talking about how their master is dead and they're free to go, and where like where should they go? what should they do like now that they're free and then the vision kind of ends and right it's, like, it's not you it's not like you're it's not it's like the human beings like aren't you but they mm -hmm. they kind of look like soldiers and then like the high like the hivers and stuff like they look like they were soldiers or something yeah um, like weird cryptic vision. Yeah, I, I got I've got a theory about it, but I'm going to um um uh, ruminate on it more. Just, just out of curiosity, this uh entity, the child in the tank put for the entertainment for the barbaric entertainment of humans, does it have any kind of intelligence behind uh, its movement or its um, gestures? Yeah, um, it seems like it does seem intelligent, and mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I think if you're if you're kind of looking around the area, um, yeah, I was going to ask you for a recon just to, but the yeah. you do you you do see like the there's like a little plaque. And then they're talking about some of like the native life on the planet. And um, they, they talk about these um, jellyfish that like are, that were found on the planet. And then they, they like lovingly call them psi fish. Um, and then they're known to be like, uh, to communicate like telepathically. And then it talks about how they like shiny objects and it, it's kind of, it's kind of patronizing like a little yeah. bit yeah um, but they're obviously intelligent like yeah yeah i mean uh to put it in perspective just even for recording and to remember it uh, for future reference but my theory is that these things have pretty much been put enslaved only for entertainment and it's pretty much telling lucas is telling me hey this I'm sorry, excuse my, pardon my French, but this fucked up stuff happens to me and my people. Here is a glimpse into how we have been so sold to be put in vats for entertainment, literally. This is what I'm gathering from the vision. Um, yeah, it's sad. I don't even know what to say. It's pretty much sad. Uh, 
but like after you kind of lean in and look at it and get this vision then it it almost it like stops like doing its flashy thing and then it just kind of sort of wanders back into like towards the yeah. back of the fish tank the aquarium yeah i'm going to say uh or at least just uh, <laughs> Uh, say something like I, I I might be able to uh, help you in the future, little one, <laughs> and I'm just going to walk away because I can't really do anything right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you you get the impression from the vision also that mm -hmm. it's not necessarily it's like the human beings in the vision are not you. It's somebody else's memory, and it's yeah, not necessarily yeah. his either. It's oh, okay. like somebody else's memory. Um, right. And also this, the spaceship looks very foreign, like everything on the spaceship looks very foreign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, okay, so if you try to get, or, or if you're just, yeah, if you're just exploring the casino, um, you might eventually bump into May. Um, mm hmm yeah. So if you're like kind of wandering around, you do eventually uh, find the pool. Like, and there is a huge, there's like a wave pool, there's a water slide, there's like a lazy river, you know, there's like kids everywhere. And then you see May, um, and uh, somehow she's got like a bikini on and she's drinking you know, a pina colada or whatever. And then she has her entourage like around her, like all of these um, kind of like sycophants, you know, and and then she waves at you. She's like, hey, 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 I'm alive. Dad didn't kill me. And she's obviously had a few. Well, she got over that real fast, didn't she? Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's like come over here. Come over here. Meet my friends slowly goes over question mark <laughs> yeah um yeah i i mean i'm going to approach yeah and may is like this is guys this is my crew this is these they literally saved my life okay like i have died i don't know i mean i've come so close to dying like i don't know how many times in the last couple of weeks like oh my god i love these guys and she's yeah she's a little girl um yeah that's that's true <laughs> uh like, nice life. to meet you um and she's like i'm gonna put you guys up in a suite you 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 don't know it's gonna be so good like you're my you're you're the best I'm going to put you guys up like you're going to be up there and like points up, you know, at some like towards the top of the casino. Um, Hun, I think you had way too much to drink. Yeah. And she's like, she's like, no, no, you don't know. Like, oh, my God, I, I no offense, like to all of you, but I fucking hate your planet. And it is so good to be back here and like, oh my God, I, you know what? I, I can stay here. I can stay inside the casino and then they can't set foot inside here. They have to shoot me outside the casino. I, this is my home. I'm at home right now. All I have to do is stay under, stay here under house arrest and I'll be fine. And then her friends are kind of like laughing, you know, and drinking. Um, just like, just like you get a girl, you know, like they can't kill you. Um, so wait, you're saying that as long as you stay in here, no one can hurt you. She's like, Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so technically, how it works is, is that when they declare the war of assassins, they can kill me or they can kill family members like my direct family if we don't if they're supposed to hand me over and then somebody is supposed to shoot me in the face they're supposed to do it to your face and she's like you know it's like like put one in, in her head and she's like but 
dad's not gonna let that happen. It's bullshit. Corporations don't don't declare wars of assassins or not not with us. Like, so what I'm hearing is I'm safe as long as I stay here too, and I don't worry about ever going back. Well shit, girl, give me one of those drinks. I'll pile with you on that one. Yeah, she's like, woo, woo, margaritas, margaritas, shots, 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 everybody, shots. Like, like we need tequila. Um Yep. Tess just gives a big grin to um Lucas and Anna and just says, Well guys, looks like we're safe now. <laughs> I don't have to worry about ever everything ever again. As long as we stay here, we a okay. Uh think this can go. Definitely better than the uh, Hempstead was. Uh, that wasn't my planet, but uh, I, I don't know. But I do. While I'm here, I would like to learn how how to um, how to swim. I did a little bit when we were on a so and so planet when I was in the Scouts. But uh, you know, it's kind of like floating you know, in space. <laughs> well, yeah. I, well, I'm looking right at that lazy river right now. I, Cause I felt quite lazy now. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's been forever since I got a good relaxation. Yeah, this place is awesome. Uh, not not uh, to not destroy the buzz of the others. I'm going to politely only to the bartender or to the waiter or waitress decline alcohol and ask for a tea. But no, nobody should hear that. So um, like. I, it, you know, so you know, like alcoholics, like they'll do that if they're golfing with their buddies. They'll be like, "Give me a tonic, like, or just like something that looks like alcohol, so they can pretend." Exactly. Yeah. 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 Drinking, yeah. That, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't really oh. know that, so I assume that they tell me that, and I'm like, "Yeah, that sounds perfect. That sounds awesome. Yeah, a tonic sounds awesome." Uh, actually, yeah, when they go when they go to get the margarita, said, "Actually, I prefer beer, please." Yeah, like the waitress kind of like leans in to you, like. Um, uh, Lucas, and like your secret safe. I understand. Um, and then comes back, you know, with just like uh, all of these drinks, you know, and um, and uh, May gives her like way too much tip, you know. She's like, You have to take care of if you take care of them, they'll take care of you, and we're getting shitty tonight. You know, like, um, yeah. And she's like, keep, keep them coming, Teresa. I love you. You're the best. You know. That's uh, right. You're the best, Teresa girl. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think eventually and she does, you know, she does get you set up with a room. Mm -hmm. Like she she talks to whoever, like pulls a guy pulls a guy aside, like one of her four employee or her dad's employees, like pulls the guys aside. It's like this is my crew. You be nice to them. You be super nice to them, and you put them up in the um in in one of the the, the palace. You know, like the, the nice ones. Put them up in the nice one. You know, and he's like, those are those are for like high. And he's like, shut up. Shut up. Do what I said. <laughs> yeah, do what she says, little employee man. We are yeah. yappy now. Yes, I'm, I'm going to I'm just going to make to do a short bow and uh <laughs> I mean in my mind, I'm not going to say it out loud, but the niceness went out the window very fast <laughs> compared to when she said about it. Yeah, like don't encourage her, don't get her. Don't like she's already drunk. Um so, but okay, like. you yeah, you do kind of get the feeling that by the way that she's acting, like how much she's drinking and all that, that she believes what she's told you. That like they can't come for her here. They're not nobody's gonna mm -hmm. shoot her inside the casino. Um as long as she stays here like under house arrest. Well, it could be the case. I mean, then if, if somebody did shoot her in her father's stronghold, they probably would make it out alive. Yeah, but she's acting like she just, like she told you, she's like, yeah, there's a contract out on my head. I don't care, you know, yeah. getting getting drunk. 
getting shit faced. Yeah, well, that's probably why she's gonna be shit faced. Is she thinks yeah. she dodged a bullet, uh, literally and figuratively. Okay, uh, okay, we'll go up to help, help, like Tessin, stop, stop antagonizing the help. <laughs> yeah, and the sun goes down, but it's almost like. Um, it's almost like protect perpetual kind of like twilight. Um, I gotta say, like I, the, I do, yeah, yeah. Like there's, uh, it's been that way like since you came in. Um, mm-hmm. Like they're kind of like red sun, like even when it's high in the sky, and then when it goes down, it's like it does cool off, but it's still pretty, mm-hmm. pretty hot and humid. I gotta say, except for the humidity, I thought. I, I like the planet. Uh, eh, I'm used to humidity. Where I'm from, it's usually always humid and hot over there. Yeah, May is like, I'm going to teach you how to swim. We're going to go swimming with the dolphins. We're going to go swimming. I love dolphins. Oh, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'm definitely down with that. Uh but let's go upstairs and let's check out our rooms. I want to get this information in in a if there's a safe there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. That would be the first thing that they would hit. But I'm assuming if we are on the specialized floors, that you probably have to. Um, there's probably direct elevators to that floor that don't stop on any of the other floors, right? There's yeah. So it's like the um, the suites mm-hmm. are really nice. Mm-hmm. Like it's like I don't think you've ever you none of you have probably ever been in like a hotel room this nice before, um, and it's like a high roller suite. You know they have like a little kitchenette. They have they definitely have a safe. They have just like really nice furniture, and the view is incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see out for just miles and miles of these beautiful oceans, uh, and the sun kind of going down. You know. Dipping into the water. Um, Tess is looking a bit more concerned now. It's like, oh, this is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's as big as the entire suite of rooms uh, uh, in some places that I lived. Just this her one ear- room. Yeah, her ears flopped yeah. down a bit. It's like, I think once she gets out, it's going to be a bit different after that. Um, but anything that you want to hide in your safe, yeah, you can definitely. Yeah, and I, I like I said, I figure probably for these sweet floors, there's probably direct elevators up there. So if uh, even even if somebody was cracking a safe. It would probably be the people. I mean, you know, it'd be it would fall directly back onto the uh, staff, you know. So, not somebody wandering in from a different room. So, I, I figure it's relatively safe. Yeah, Tess is going to keep her stuff next to her and not in the safe, considering um the fact she's a bit more concerned now that this is a really nice place, nice than she thought. It's like, oh, this ain't going to go good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I will make some. I, I, it's like before I. I do it. I will back it up onto some data crystals that I can secrete elsewhere. Uh, so if they yeah. do it, they go for that. And but I'll have a backup of the data somewhere else. So if they're not and like this, they look, yeah, you can totally you can totally make copies of your your yeah. stuff and like stash, like keep one on your like your data pad or whatever, and one it's like mm-hmm. stash one and save. Um, but this, so yeah, the casino definitely goes like straight up. Like almost all of the buildings, the the big mm-hmm. buildings around here just go like straight up, mm-hmm. um, because there's just not enough land. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I don't think like eventually May goes goes dark. You know, if you try to get get in touch, she just like sends you like a slurry text, like. <laughs> Margaritas, you know, <laughs> tequila. <laughs> um, that, and then and then just like goes dark, but uh, yeah. You know, she's gonna be feeling that tomorrow. 
Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh she'll be feeling a lot of things tomorrow, I think. Yep. Well, I'm going to go down and get some of that fruit. Uh, we got a kitchenette here and um, get enough to save it up, up here, too, and then some of the um, real food. Then I think I'm going to go. Uh, I'm sure there's some place that sells bathing suits in here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold her to that. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I'm just. I'm going to hold her to her promise. Of, of, I mean, I, I sort of, like I said, I sort of went swimming once a little bit. I would, from what the person would, uh, the people were saying I was dog paddling, but you know, it, it's it's kind of like in a way, let's say after hanging, but a little bit of it was uh, like being in space. I just don't know any of the strokes or anything like that, you know. Um, yeah. In fact, like if you have back suit training, I would even give you like a zero to swim. Yeah. Because it's not it's not that it's like not that different. It's almost like the same. Like um, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh yeah, you can definitely get a swimsuit and some of this mm. fresh fruit and stuff. And it's actually like it's amazing the the fruit is just it's like nothing you've ever tasted mm. um like guava um really like really delicious like kind of tropical fruits and stuff mangoes and stuff like that um, i like this pine i like this pineapple that's good. yeah pineapple um what do you call it i'm trying to think of uh what else is like super tropical? That's really good. Some cocktails. Dragon fruit. Yeah, kiwis and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, and then there is just like, there's like giant mutant kind of seafood. There's all kinds of weird stuff like. Uh, I'm not eating anything that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tess and Zor, they're eating it like it's no big deal. <laughs> Offering it's some fine. to Anne. It's like, you want some? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at this. Well, this lobster is the size of a German shepherd. <laughs> um, I, I think I will if they do have like steak or something like that. Since we're getting real food, I think I'll get some steak. <laughs> yeah, um, I think they do. They do have like um, like a slab of roast beef or something like that. Ah, that sounds good. You get some roast beef with like gravy and mashed potatoes or something. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I wanted to ask for something a little bit peculiar, but Lu Lucas might want. Okay, so probably it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to go through the staff uh, the first time, but I kind of wanted to talk with the uh, dad, with the head of the family. They, not to mountain of madness to this too much, but I kind of wondered if they would have psionics like myself around here and if i can talk to one of them like um train myself a little bit like on the concentration and stuff like that if it would be possible did you okay so did you want to kind of like uh because so like if if Anna was kind of going through, she's like, "Hey, check this out. They're actually like kind of like sci they're um, pro psionics around here. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Like they have a. Uh, I think that you could like. Well, yeah. I mean, do it. Do it how you do. Do do how you how you want to. Because uh, they are they are they still required to have some. Sort of an insignia, or can they just wander around? Without oh, any, without yeah, like something, markers. something on their shoulder that marks them, that like shows that they. Um, I think if you were going through like just some history of stuff, like the maybe you would see something that they are. Once again, see military potential and um psychics like training psychics but it's not like it's not like on hemsa where they it's like register with the state if you're psychic it's the law um it's more like uh there's actually 
are you are you trying to like research this stuff? Like if you're, or are you just kind of looking around to see if you see, like you could scan surface thoughts or something, I guess. Um, uh, I mean, I don't think this would be too covert or something because we are pretty much known here and I'm not going to barge in, not, not to culturally appropriate, but I was, I had this small little fantasy in my head, like they have this, Asian heritage and Asians are very big into spirituality, some of them not going to generalize mm -hmm. and I'm imagining like I don't know, talking with the uh, if they have a high master or somebody like oh yeah, I'm an amateur at this as well uh, what are some of your thoughts, some of your secrets about these arts uh, I'm not really hiding myself in this part so I don't know if scanning surface thoughts would really be necessary. I don't know. Uh, um, so I think that, you know, it is a casino. It's very, very touristy, but they do have like kind of like a little a Shinto temple thing if you're kind of wandering. Mm -hmm. off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm going there. Yeah. Um, so again, it's kind of, it's kind of touristy, but they okay. have like a Zen garden mm -hmm. thing. Um, and then there's like a koi fish pond. Um, and uh, I'd probably just go with them, Lucas, just to make sure that everything's all right, considering, um, you know, psionics and all that. Not a, a great sign sometimes to say you're a psionic out and about. So just what? be a little worried about you. Mm -hmm. So just going to go with you to make sure everything is a okay. Mm -hmm. I had a question. This being a casino, are the Dealers and stuff like that, human or are they machines or what? Oh, like the, um, there. I think you're you're not seeing kind of like the same level of like electronics as far as um, so they're humans, and if they've got games like poker, I imagine there's probably some sort of psionic dampening field right around the tables and stuff like that, probably. So people have to um, cheat the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I think it, it it might take a little more investigation to, mm -hmm. like, if you're casing the place. <laughs> um, well, I just I just want to make make sure that I mean, and you know, uh, a psionic wandering onto the floor if it's if if it's not protected of the of, a, of where they're gambling probably isn't the mm -hmm. best idea. Yeah, yeah, that that would make no sense. matter no matter how friendly are that they are with psionics, you know. Well, I mean, that could be potential cheating. Yeah, I think Victor, or sorry, not Victor, but um, Lucas, you would know that, um, uh, like one of the first things that you learn when you're doing telepathy and stuff, so, um, is like how to, if you are, uh, psychic, is how to like block people out. Yeah, if they're trying yeah. to. Yeah. 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 Like that's, it, and it's almost like um, if somebody's trying to intrude your thoughts and then you have like some training, there's like a, a dual kind of thing that can mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, people usually know when they are being accessed. Uh, so they got a feeling like uh, somebody at the table may, might be like, hey, this guy is trying to read my hand <laughs> out of my mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you if you go to like the little Shinto temple thing, mm -hmm. um, there's like a a shrine maiden that kind of comes, you know, and and how are you, sir? Um, did you come to meditate? Uh, yeah, that sounds lovely. Um, yeah, I'm, and I'm looking at tests on it. I'm like. Um, if you want to also, I can teach you some meditation skills <laughs> Spend some time, uh, digesting all the seafood, uh, which Lucas also eaten because, uh, uh, he loves seafood. <laughs> seafood is amazing. Texan looks down at their, their self dressed in a one piece being students like, uh, is this like maintaining gear? Or do I have to get something else on? And yeah, the the shrine maiden's like, 
she kind of is she, or oh do you ask her that or do you ask Lucas? Yeah. That? I mean both they're both here. It's like because I'm literally in a one piece bait and suit. Yeah, she's just kind of she's kind of like motioning, you know, for you to take for both of you to like take a seat and then like walks off and starts making tea for you. That's lovely. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, it comes back and like does this kind of elaborate tea ceremony thing where she like turns the teapot and then you know pours does like does this very elaborate kind of tea ceremony mm -hmm. thing and gives mm -hmm. you both gives yeah hands out the tea um like kneeling you know um mm -hmm. and gets up and then she she leaves the like leaves the room and then like gets down like on her knees and like looks at you and then sort of slides the the door shut you know so that you can have some privacy while you meditate perfect um is that is is the chai uh oolong or something like that um white tea basically um mm -hmm. I, I think that would be appropriate i don't know yeah 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 um having a lovely time I, I don't even need mechanics i i'm liking this situation a lot <laughs> it's, it's awesome. a big it's, it's kind of a big upgrade from where you were um yeah yeah it's definitely no explosions nobody wants to kill me <laughs> it's fine <laughs> not yet um oh, wait, wait what no never mind <laughs> no <Yeah>. jawa <laughs> no jawa it's just like i can feel the stress melting away um yeah, so, but say that eventually you do like wind down for for bed, and um, but about about um, May's dad, um, you get a message like in the morning, like, oh my god, I'm so hungover, but that was that was fun, um, and. She mentions that she wants to meet with you. She wants to get the um, like the security footage and stuff to show to her dad. Yep, that's no problem. Yep, sounds about right. Um, so she like comes up to your room, you know, and is looking around and she's like, yeah, oh, it's good to be home. This is great. Um, <clears throat> and she looks at Anna like, okay, yeah. like, wh wh how do you want to do this? Well, I'll take a, um, I'm not going to indicate that I have other copies of it, so I'm going to go get the one out of the safe. Double check to make sure it hadn't been accessed since I was uh, last time I accessed it. And uh, all right, now how are we going to say we got a hold of this? How are you going to say? Uh, and it says, uh, okay, well, you were on the facility. You were working on the facility, mm -hmm. right? And yes. then, and then we rescued you. Mm -hmm. And you you smuggled out the security footage because I felt it would be important. And yeah, I, and, and even uh, though I wasn't where I was working, I had the skill to do it. So, yeah, and she kind of looks around. She's like, "Is Jala on that? Is she blowing anything up on that?" I uh, know. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. That that, that is correct, it. right? To, to, to yeah, no, I, I mean, because yes, you, you just said that you were making a copy of it. Yeah. So I'm just assuming that you give her, you like give her what you want to give her. Yes, yes. Um. So do you give her all of the, you give her all of the stuff with the monkeys, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the, um, the test footage stuff yeah yeah like i said uh, you, and the uh I, I was okay let me see if they ask i was uh there was uh i was in the um central processing unit uh 
because there's some problems. And uh, when the thing went south, I uh, felt we ought to download the information just for probably just for investigators' sake. So I did so. And yes, I will show the uh, and yeah. So we'll we'll show the and then when I was most of it was uh, encrypted. I was curious, so I had a long voyage. I decrypted it and found this stuff. So somebody needs to know about this stuff. Okay, so the lab data too. Well, I, well, the okay. You were saying the thing about the monkeys, right? Yeah. So you have like the footage, like the test footage of the monkeys like killing each other. Um, yeah, yeah. And then you also uh, have the, like, you have the lab data where they're talking about how they managed to like bump up the aggression levels and like the intelligence, exactly. um, and like strength and stuff, and um, like recovery times. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask May. Is like, I mean, this would certainly show that uh, your father that. Um, these people are up no good and would do anything to keep this information a secret. But my question to you is, would he be using this stuff for bad purposes? It's like, I, I trust my, I trust my dad. He's not that kind of person. Okay. He, he's, he, yeah. I mean, they've already declared war, declared war on our family, but this, yeah. um, it's just I mean, like, this, this just shows. Yeah. This would show why they're, why they were at, they were after anybody, you know, because I want to keep, I want to deflect and keep all of this a secret. But when things went south, it's like I decided there better be some sort of documentation, just from the conversations I was overhearing out in the halls. People were panicking mm -hmm. and talking when they wouldn't normally have. Okay. Yeah. So you're your IT, you're your mechanic, and then like looks over at um, at Lucas like. Oh, you seem to be really doing good with like the whole Zen thing. That's cool. You know, like, <laughs> just like looking at your um like your robes and stuff, you know. Um so you're gonna fit in just fine. Um we're gonna have to lay low for a little while. Like, but it's cool. We can stay at the casino. I'm not really worried about getting shot. I think it's bullshit. I don't think I think it's a threat. I think that they want money. I think that they want they want my dad to cough up to pay for the facility or something, you know, um, pay for the research that they lost. Yeah. Like also they want to, to you know, like I said, to deflect. It's like put the blame, put the blame on somebody else for blowing this up and then nobody's gonna ask what they were doing there. I just wanna know who who said it was me and somebody in my crew. Mm -hmm. Because that 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 motherfucker. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to show this to my dad. Um, where Where are you all going to be? Are you going to be here? We'll be here available for, for his to, if he needs to, to uh, consult with us. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. I'm going to go have a meeting with the bosses. Um, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm kind I, of thinking of for going uh, <laughs> in a way as well and uh, burn some credits, but not too much. <laughs> well, you're gonna go gamble, uh, that yeah, but a very, very small amount just to test the how much the house wins. Does it win uh, 90%? Does it win uh, 80%? Okay, the house always wins. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> so May kind right. of takes off. Yeah. Right. This and, and she this grabs and I think the, you ought to be here too. Yeah. Yeah, she grabs the the data that you gave her mm -hmm. to show her dad, and then she kind of takes off and then she's like she kind of confer like gets your story straight. Mm -hmm. You know? She's like, You were on the facility, you ejected, we picked you up, and then and then I took you on as crew, and yeah. you're on our our manifest as crew and um and then we just got the hell out of there because we thought it was a terrorist attack or something like yeah exactly and and what i saw just scared the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. and that's our story that's what we're going yeah. with yeah. Um, okay. sounds good 
I mean, that's basically so, what I taught him, taught him anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so she takes off and then she goes to like meet with her dad. Um, and then if you're all just kind of hanging around, like Lucas, if you go, if you go down to the casino, like maybe you get, you get one hit, like you do, you're playing a couple hands of something and like you're doing okay. And then all of a sudden it's just all gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of expected, and I'm also playing completely above board, no uh, psionic stuff. I, I genuinely, I'm genuinely trying to uh, get a little bit of fun because, uh, yeah, testing. Do, do you want me to roll something like, like burn some good rolls or? Uh... Um, actually, if you have gambling, you can roll gambling. Uh, uh, I do not have gambling. That would make sense. I do not have. So there's no wonder I'm losing all, all, all my credit. Yeah, it is a skill. Gambling is a skill. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so eventually, though, you get a message from May. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, hey, um, can you can you come meet me here? Um, my dad wants to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, we were, um, respecting, uh, we were respecting that, uh, but I thought it was probably better to have her go by herself the first time rather than, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you, yeah, you do get the message where mm -hmm. she's like, oh, my dad wants to talk to you. And uh, if you, but if you don't want to go to the meeting, you don't have to. You can just lay low. Well, anybody who doesn't want to go doesn't have to. No, I As a matter of fact, I, I, I tell uh, Anna and Tessan, like, we should meet only us three and discuss. Like, I'm not telling May that. I'm like... We should meet so, when so what? She, she, she leaves it as an open-ended question, like, you don't have to go or something. And uh, um, I want to meet up just to talk, all of us three, like... What do you think we should do? We should go. We should not go. I don't know. Uh, well, I think we should go. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I think it would look suspicious if we don't go. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's that's fair. I mean, again, I have nothing to hide. I was doing my job, and my job was to go into the break room, check everything in the break room. That's all I saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we you know, and in the course of Doing stuff since for since for the help were in, essentially invisible. We overheard stuff that concerned us enough to where we thought we better have some documentation. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, so everybody's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, you you like walk into um, a very nice office, very glitzy office not so touristy um and then there are these like kind of like yakuza heavy types and you can tell that they're making this like very slight small attempts to cover their um small arms that they're carrying on them but not really uh they seem very comfortable inside their own house kind of like don't even bo don't bother like searching you or anything like that um and then just kind of wait for you to come into this this meeting um and then you see like the whole family is there uh you see what looks to be um <clears throat> like may her dad her, her mom, and even her little brother. <laughs> um, Who is how old? He looks to be about like 16. Oh, okay. Um, the training end, okay. Yeah. So, um, the, uh, like, the patriarch, like this older gentleman, kind of introduces himself first. I don't think that we've met properly. I'm a Kurosato. This is my family. You've met May. This is my wife, Minato, and then my son, Hachiro. 
him. Small uh, bow. Yeah, Anna Renfrey. Lucas Models. Uh, Tessin Carvel. <laughs> All right, and it's just, I, I hear that my daughter says that that you sort of saved her life, and you and and she sort of saved yours. I owe you a debt. Right. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if she's told you, but. Um, <clears throat> The uh, um, Astrogen, the corporation, has declared a war of assassins on me and my family. Uh, they're mm -hmm. seeking damages for the high wind facility. And some of the other members of Zaibatsu are saying that they saw a member of May's crew who is not here, I'm told, uh, place a bomb. Yeah. yeah on the facility and may showed me the footage i've seen the footage that's why um, i think i think they're trying to deflect i mean if the word got out that they were doing this sort of stuff they would be in very big trouble uh that's why when we started getting the feeling that there was something that made, no, nobody pays attention to the hired help you know so um uh, they talked in front of us Stuff like that. Um, that's why when the, there was an explosion, I downloaded some information because I figure we better have some documentation. So, do you have any information on some of the experiments? Um, May says that this this virus, this whatever it is, is some kind of a weaponized form of um, rabies. That's what I've. I've I've been able to make out so far. A lot of this was most of this stuff is in terms of this was encoded transmissions, and I've been, you know, having nothing else to do on the flight. Once we helped out getting um, uh, my ship ready, uh, and in the occasional maintenance, uh, I had nothing else to do, so I was working on decrypting it with the help of uh, I've got a good computer, you know, uh, and. Um, most of this information is them sending this back to somebody, you know, I guess their headquarters or whatever. Uh, but uh, there's still probably, there's still a little bit more that hasn't been decrypted, decrypted yet. So. so do you think they actually mean my, me and my family harm, or do you think they want some kind of a settlement? Well, I'm, this is a totally new world to me in terms of like, corporations and war of assassins and stuff like that. I mean, they probably my, 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 feeling, my, my feeling would be is they're, they're um, as they're trying to like use deflection probably, and probably that's something the, there was something the Saibatsu that said stuff. That's probably what they're doing too. Uh, I mean, you, I, I don't know how to, I honestly don't know how to answer that. If you think, you could do something without showing a sign of weakness or something like that. Uh, I, I, maybe it wouldn't hurt. And, yeah, and he says, um, well, luckily nobody from the clans was harmed, May, uh, or else they probably would have your head. Um, but um, I, I don't know what they're after. Do you don't do you think that they know that you have this information, this this data? I don't think so. There was just too damn much chaos going on. And like I said, they they virtually, I mean, they were the scientists, everybody else was just kind of dust, you know, under their things. They uh, they just didn't expect anybody to do anything. There's there's the we were the dumb hired help, you know. Do you, you have any information can... about the the cloning that they're doing? I can tell you of another incident that may or may not be connected. And I don't even know that really was cloning, but it seems suspicious. Uh, you know, there's a lot of violence going on on, on Hemstat. 
Well, we were on a train that got uh, going from the one of the arcologies to the uh, lower spaceport. They got bombed. The track got bombed. Um, part of it fell down a hole. Uh, and we were trying to get stuff stabilized and it's the electronics, make sure there's no danger of fire, or, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Because uh, they had they didn't have enough people banning the train. They had like a junior engineer, and that was about it. <laughs> uh, they should have had two. They should have had somebody at the front of the train and the back of the train. There was only one. Uh, there was the one mechanic. It was very strange. Um, so we ended up having to uh, to to work on the train ourselves. But anyway, so when, when we were outside walking it. Part of it was part of the train had fallen down into uh, one of the crevices, uh, and uh, sleeper uh, sleeper pods came up, and were we could see scattered about. That all were very suspiciously named. I mean, they all had overly generic names. Uh, Wait, we just um, got. Wait, I like if I'm something say else. something. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because I'm I'm missing something. I forgot. I'm forgetting something here. Please. Yeah, Tessa just speaks up. Well, it might not have anything to do with the clone at this point in time, but back in university, I knew an old lady. Her name was Ami Hikawa. <laughs> she was going to the fields of medical degrees and whatnot, but we kind of split up in some different classes here and there. Regardless, we were in the same um, genetic mutation classes, otherwise known as as animal cloning. Ing. Basically learn about the technology and how it worked and all that. <laughs> However, she came with, with an interesting hypothesis that the instructors and everyone thought was very peculiar. Since technically everything can be boiled down to animal DNA in some way, shape, or form, cloning could be done technically with humans too. In which case, if anyone would know anything about cloning, and if it was actually connected to the government and even astrologian, it would be her. I could probably get in contact with her. Been a couple of years, though. Um, that is one thing. There, they, The laws, you know, cloning human beings is strictly forbidden. And cloning parts, of course, is a little bit frowned upon. But uh, oh, the that's why I mean... Well, that's what Amy Fever Fever was, was playing all kind about. of playing fast and loose. So, yeah, the the fact that they were um, the few bodies we looked saw looked pretty identical, and the fact that they had these suspicious names, um, and uh, we later find out that there wasn't even supposed to be any, any, there weren't even supposed to be any sleeper cars on the ship, sleeper pods on the thing. I, I can't remember. There was something else that made it suspicious, but. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me that there's that's going on. I well, think that because we're out here on the fringes of coalition space, people think that they can just do whatever they want and skirt the mm -hmm. laws. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where the hypothesis was coming up with Ami. Ami's whole um, hypothesis was under the same fact that if you can determine that humans are actually animals, then they have just as much rights that animals do. And if that was true, the government could rewrite the law saying that cloning of humans is just the same as cloning of animals. In which case, I don't know if astronaut is trying to do that with the loophole and everything, but if it actually goes through in laws, it makes a whole new discovery in science and genetic mutations too. In which case, just like I and you are, in their minds, and the law could be that we are animals that can just be cloned like anyone else. We are animals, but, but, but there's well, but somebody can... will... Yes, but where yeah. animals are, have intelligent life. But if we can prove that we are just like other animals that can be cloned without consent, they can just say that it wasn't technically anything illegal since we're animals just like any other. Well, May Never seems to think that uh, May seems to think that they were working with some kind of a precursor virus. Uh and he kind of like waves at waves at her, um, and she's like, she's like, yeah, yeah, Dad. The um, you know, I read about it. 
like our, uh, I, I told you about that class uh, and she's like talking about college, about how um, they come across like anthropological sites of the precursors where things were booby trapped with viruses that were like tuned specifically to certain types of DNA um, and like humans were affected but if there's like um, a, uh, you know, like an Oslon or a Varger that was part of the crew, then they weren't affected by the, um, by the viruses and stuff and that it specifically targeted humans, um, like with these archeological kind of sites and stuff. And um, it may goes on and on about precursors. And was, that, and like, was it's a suggestion that I mean, to be able to target uh, the humans that they were close from their architecture, stuff like that. Does it, is there an indication that they were closer to us than they were to some of the other species? In terms suppose, of, you know, uh, basic design, et cetera. Yeah, and, and May pipes in and she's like, you know, you know, like um, the hivers, the hivers on, um, on Hemsut, um, they... They they have uh, uh, stories where they they talk about how the ancients would uh, they would come down that the hivers would fight the clans would fight and then they would come down and take the strongest fighters with them they were tr they were breeding them as soldiers and and who's to say that they weren't doing that with us who's to say that they aren't pulling the strings like behind the scenes right now with these fucked up corpos like with their messing with DNA with viruses and like, and like, you know, um, Akira is like, okay, okay, May. So that's, that's enough. Like put your tinfoil hat back on. <laughs> um, Tessa just scratches back the head. Oh boy, that's a heck of a theory you have there. She's like, they're, they're evil. Like that corporation, they need to be stopped. That virus that they're working on, that could wipe out a whole planet. Um, it would be like one of those old zombie outbreak movies that they used to show. I mean, the major danger to that is, I mean, you don't mess with that stuff because it can backfire on you so easy. I mean, they could... You might think you have a something to control it, or and then a minor mutation will render whatever you have. Uh, well, used I guess according to a friend of mine that used to work on that used to was the medic on the uh, so and so when I think was ship I was on. Uh, yeah, it's just it's stupid, stupid, stupid to mess with crap like that. Well, I guess it could work as the Plimer virus did back in my old place. Uh, as you can tell, I'm Asani, and as Asani, we have different DNA and different viruses. One of them was called the primal gene in virus. It's something that all Asanis can have. Some about being mutation from like lions and everything that they've studied in our alien race and whatnot. <laughs> if that's the case, it kind of works like I guess zombies do, going into a unbridled rage frenzy. At least in our case. Well, this data shows that they can manipulate the actual, manipulate intelligence levels, manipulate strength, but is it temporary only? Or I'm just curious if you had any more information about the viruses that they were working on. Well, I don't they have hypotheticals. Yeah, again, it's like I'm I'm assuming this is me out of game. I'm assuming that I have not worked my way through all of all of that encrypted data, right? Well, you just do, yeah, you, you don't have um you, the the portion that you got, you know, was like only like a slice of some of the lab data that was going out. Um but you weren't you weren't actually employees on the facility for that long. Exactly. So you don't actually know that much. We, yeah, were know we were employees for a day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, we don't need to mention that. Um, you know, the, considering the way data is 
Uh, I mean, of course, you have to get packets on ships, but there are transmission points, you know, to where they get where it goes to that. And, and you know, uh, some of that information might still be on a relay somewhere. I mean, unless it's been wiped, uh, I mean, truly wiped, it might still be recoverable. But in in your system, in Hempstead? In, in the Hempstead system, yes. So. Hmm. Well, hmm. Well, uh, and then he calls and calls May, like by the same nickname again. He's like, well, Retort Tiger, you have work to do. You can't sit on your butt and be hung over. You got to go check on the, um, uh, <clears throat> she's like, we're, or sorry, he's like, we're being um, sabotaged again. You got to get out there and check on the, um, uh, one of the operations. And uh, he kind of mentions that there's, um, like the families, the clans have like these different uh, mining operations and they're seafloor mining operations. Um, and like so they what, have like a lot of operations. Sea oh, they're seafloor. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So they have like one of the, the harvesters has um, like hit a mine and then the, the track like came loose on it. Um, and he, he wants May to go out there um, and check on this, uh, and check on this, go investigate um, the site of this like mining operation. And he's like, I want to, I want to know who, who did it. I want to know why all of a sudden everybody wants to kill us. You especially. And she's like, but daddy, then if I have to leave the casino, then they can, you know, they can cash in my chips. And he's like, better than you than me. Get out there. You're not going to sit on your butt drinking all day. Um, and she like grabs her and stuff. Um, so Lucas, did you... Um, you mentioned that you wanted to you wanted to see like if the kind of like if the patriarch or like the family if they were psychic. Did yeah. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a general curiosity. Um, did you wanna do like surface thoughts or did you want to like um the there's stuff that you can do, I'm not familiar with all like creating like a bond. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But un until we look at the rules, like I, I, I think honesty is a big part of our relationship with our newfound allies, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to respectfully ask something along those lines, like if they ever employ the help of um, um, psychics or if they because I imagine it's hard not to like a clan like a big family they should definitely have some kind of an upper hand through this medium if that mm -hmm. makes sense so I'm going to try to ask respectfully, not be like, oh, yeah, are you a psychic? Like, have you employed the help of psychics in your um, endeavors, in uh, your uh, family history, or even recently? Mm -hmm. So you you bring up the topic, and um, he kind of, like, sort of leans back in his chair, you know, and looks at you. And then you see some of the heavies almost like do like a little flex, like where they're like straightening their jacket, like they're gonna, they, like their their boss might be attacked or might say something. Um, and he's, he's like, yes, we do, we do employ psychics. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about our family? 
Uh, I'm going to reply, sir, with all uh, respect, I do not. Only hearsay, not much more. So you know that we run casinos, we have mining operations, manufacturing operations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you know where I come from? Oh, I'm going to be honest, no. Or can I roll something with like a history? Or, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, you could do, I think you could do, um, you could do streetwise or you could do education. Oh, well, I just got my uh, streetwise, but I haven't programmed it. Is that, so, well, you could just, you could just roll. Like, is it, I thought you put, I thought you put a lot of points into it. I thought you get, Put got up to streetwise too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I got, but I haven't entered it in the character sheet. Yeah, I have a streetwise of two level. Yeah, yeah. It's it's intelligence. So you could you could roll intelligence and then add all of your your modifiers to that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Understood, understood. Da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Uh, intelligence. I hope this is intellect, which I'm pressing right now. No, oh. you, it's like... Um, <clears throat> no knowledge whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, you're not from this planet. You do not know anything about this planet. Um, yeah, no bluffing. I'm going to be like, uh, yeah, I said only hearsay, nothing more than uh, surface uh, endeavors. And he's like, mm, probably for the best. All in due time. All in due time. <laughs> um, and and then kind of relaxes like a little bit. And then you see like the head, like the heavies like relax and like go back to like reading the magazine or whatever, you know. Um, but note it's almost to, like yeah. Note to self: never put, never uh, approach the subject again until much later. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's almost like just asking the question put him on edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he wanted to know what you knew. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, do we, he's going to send May out to check out this mining operation. Do you want to go with her? One, you don't have to. Um, she will try. I think she'll try and drag you. She'd be like, "Come on, we're leaving, Anna. We're gonna go swim with the dolphins." Um, okay. And uh, so she like tries to drag you with her. I'm gonna ask her a question. Can, can can we? Um, I'm assuming you have. There's a um, submersible that you have to go down in. She's like, "Yeah, we have a sub. It's cool." Okay. Uh, Get your swimsuit. Would it? Would it have? Yeah, I will. Will, will it have enough um, space to say like um, load cargo on? We could load you on as cargo, and have somebody else look like they're <coughs> in charge, and then but load you on as cargo, and then you come out when you're on the on the sub. Yeah, and then she, even though she said that she is like. Like, Daddy, they're going to kill me. She doesn't really seem worried about it. She's like, come on, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay. They want us to go to... Um, but do we want to put a pin in it there and come back to it? That's or probably a good place. Yeah. So, I think, yeah. yeah, I think this is a good place to end. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good stopping point. Um, but basically, these you have... Bounced around from Mafia to Mafia, <laughs> landed in the in the seat of another another Mafia, um, and the OPA is nowhere to be nowhere to be seen. No, but we do have Mafia and Yakuza now. Yay! We have yeah. both. <laughs> and you are going to actually go swimming with the dolphins, and that's not a euphemism for <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're actually going to go swim with the dolphins goes there it was a lie yeah <laughs> like always oh, has been <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Um, oh, I, I'll ask her if you, do you have uh, um, enough uh, diving gear, et cetera, for rebreathers or whatever we folks use for passengers as well as crew? She, um, she says, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I got you. Um, okay. There's, we have these things that are like rebreathers, you know, you just kind of, yeah. you just put it in your mouth and, okay. uh, it cycles the oxygen. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's cool. It's not even that deep, you know, um, mm -hmm. talking about the water and it's beautiful and like, just like, I'm going to swim off the tank. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, let's put it let's put a pin in it there. That's a good good stopping point. Okay. Bing bang wahoo.